Good day everyone. We are here today to discuss about the moon. Me and my group mates will talk about the phases of the moon, practices and beliefs. The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite and the fifth largest moon in the solar system. The moon's presence helps stabilize our planet's wobble or to move and moderate our climate. The moon's distance from Earth is about 240,000 miles or 385,000 kilometers and has a thin atmosphere called an exosphere. The moon's surface is created and pitted from comets and asteroids' impacts. We call it moon because for a long time ago, it was the only one we knew about. But many languages have a beautiful names for our moon. In Italian, Latin, and Spanish, they call it Luna, Lune in French, and Mond in German, Celine in Greek. According to NASA, the moon's mean radius is 1,079.6 miles or 1,737.5 km and mean diameter is 2,159.2 miles or 3,475 km. The three primary gases in the lunar atmosphere are neon, helium, and hydrogen in roughly equal amounts. Compared to Earth, the moon is less than a third of our home planet. The moon's surface is actually dark, so meaning there is no light in the moon, but we can see the moon through the light from the sun. The moon is drifting away from the Earth. The moon was made when a rock smashed into the earth. The moon makes the earth move as well as the tide. The moon has quakes too, and we call it moon quakes. Quakes originating deep over 700 kilometers deep within the moon, caused by the stretching and relaxing of the gravitational pull between the earth and the moon, the same force that drives our ocean tides. Now we will talk about the temperature. The temperature on the moon are very hot in the daytime, about 100 degrees Celsius. And at night, the lunar surface will get very cold, as cold as negative 173 degrees Celsius. The wide variation is because Earth's moon has no atmosphere to hold in heat at night or prevent the surface from getting so hot during the daytime. A single day on the moon lasts about 28 Earth days, or meaning the lunar daytime is nearly two Earth weeks long. Neil Armstrong is the first man to walk on the moon on July 20, 1969. He was born in Wapakoneta, Ohio on August 5, 1930. He began his NASA career in Ohio. The Moon Paces the moon is not only visible at night, we often see it during the day. So the only places that cannot be seen in the day are the new moon and of course the full moon. From an astronomic, astronomical perspective, the lunar cycle has four main phases and four intermediate phases. So let's take an in-depth look at each one of of the moon phases and in order so the cycle of the lunar phases begins with the new moon so what's with with the new moon so the new moon is the only moment in the lunar cycle when we can witness a solar eclipse so we witness na natin dito yung tinatawag na solar eclipse and um, it is the only time that um, the moon is in between the sun and the earth so we have also the um, next to the new moon we have the waxing crescent moon so at this stage the moon appears to be less than one half illuminated by direct sunlight even though um, a fraction of its disk is increasingly lit by the sun so it can be seen toward the southwest in the early evening um, as the moon as the moon starts to move eastward away from the sun, we begin to witness more of its sunlit side each night. So, next to waxing crescent, we have the first quarter. So, in first quarter, 
um, the moon is still between one quarter and halfway through its cycle. So um, it is visible up high in the southern sky in the early evening. So the reason why it is called first quarter moon is that um, it is one quarter of the way through the lunar month. We have the waxing gibbous. So what's with the waxing gibbous moon? So the moon, uh, the moon's disk is already well lit up by sunlight. So it is uh, visible to the south, uh, southeast in the early evening, um, up for most of the night. Uh, uh, in waxing gibbous, um, it's more on night than uh, not early evening shot. And mapapansin yon uh, if the moon is a waxing gibbous present. I mean waxing gibbous rather. So at this point in the lunar cycle, the moon continue uh, continues to, to to wax and to grow fatter, illuminated by the sun's rays. Uh, the full moon. The full moon is that uh, the full moon occurs when the moon is completely illuminated by direct sunlight. So. Um, the full moon occurs when the moon is completely illuminated by direct sunlight. At this point, the satellite lit up side is symmetrically facing, uh, facing the Earth. Uh, vis uh, visually speaking, it's the opposite effect of the new moon. So we can witness this. Uh, we can witness it. Um, it rise and almost exactly at sunset and high in the sky around midnight. So. The full moon stays visible all night and sets as the surf rises uh, in the next morning day. One half of the lunar month has been completed. So next we have the waning gibbous. So the waning gibbous, what's with the waning gibbous? Uh, the waning gibbous, uh, the waning gibbous moon, the moon is no longer fully illuminated. Hindi na siya full. Direct, uh, by direct sunlight, the last quarter. So um, this is the second to the last uh, moon. I mean, uh, uh, this is the last quarter uh, moon. The last quarter reveals one side of the moon's disk illuminated and other side in darkness. It's mirror of the first quarter phase and can be witnessed around midnight and then to the south after sunrise. The next, uh, next, uh, last quarter, we have the waning crescent. So in the waning crescent, the uh, the moon is the this is the last phases as we all know that. So, ito siya, um, uh, last phases of the lunar cycle. At this point, the moon is barely illuminated by the sun, and only a fraction is lit up by direct sunlight. So it can be seen low to east before sunrise. The journey has been completed and a new moon is about to hide under the darkness of the night skies. So after all of these eight um, phases of the moon, babalik na naman siya sa una at pagkatapos and after that, uh, matatapos and babalik ulit. So that's the phases of the moon. Next, the lips of the moon. The moon, the largest and brightest object in the night sky, has long inspired curiosity and wonder. It appears at night, the time of sleep, and dreaming that sometimes seems to approach the borders of death and the afterlife. So during night time, the moon is the brightest object in our sky. Moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planets, rotating on its axis, leading to a relatively stable climate. Throughout history, in many different cultures, the moon in all its different faces and faces is symbolic. Here are some of the common beliefs surrounding the moon. They said, Gazing too long at the full moon will bring out one's inner lunatic. That's because lunatic originally meant someone who went crazy with every pace of the moon. Most of people these days don't believe in moon cause insanity, but we still talk about lunatics. 
sometimes meaning clinically insane people. They also believe waxing of a new moon is the best time for sowing seeds, weddings, childbirth, new projects, and troubles. Next, they also pointing at the new moon is a bad omen as it offends the man in the moon. Another is a waning moon is a bad time for births and weddings, but a good time for cutting hair, fingernails, trees, as everything cut this time will grow again. To sum it up, our beliefs about the moon is part of our tradition, which can be sometimes true or not. But as a Filipino who also believes in some of those beliefs about the moon, we still need to respect and give importance to the different beliefs that we have. Here are the practices of the moon. The moon has also been regarded as controlling menstruation. According to the 18th century physician Richard Mead, everyone knows how great a share the moon has in forwarding those evacuations of the weaker sex. The very word menstruation means moon change, while in France, it's called le moment de la lune. The most comprehensive system for gathering the many observations of the moon, attempting to understand its significance and drawing implications for behavior from it, was astrology. The 28-day cycle of the moon became a convenient way of dividing the solar year into more manageable units we have come to know as month. Moon, the constantly recurring changes and phases of the moon, have caused it to be taken as a type of changeableness and in constancy they were also traditionally supposed to influence the health of body and mind and to cause insanity. In astrology, the moon represents the inner emotional side of the self, the subconscious mind, and the psyche. The moon's placement in the chart reveals the creative side of the person, where he or she might give birth to new ideas, how his or her nurturing side is expressed, or where great passion is resting. The moon is prayer of with the sun related to the overall aspects of one's outer visible life. 